agree with. Maybe you um, like want to come out as a you know, um, like. Like, maybe you're a homosexual or bisexual or whatever, and, like, your family isn't agreeing with it. You're, you're a, a worried about the way your family's going to look at you or things that you believe or something like that, okay? That's affecting um, people right now. Okay, don't be afraid. You need to speak your truth, okay? Um, I'm not going to go too far into that, but I will say that... Parents just want the best for you, and a lot of our parents and your parents, they didn't grow up in the same, like, environment with, that we did. Um, a lot more st uh, things are more, they're more um, accepted now because they just are. Like, people started realizing that it's okay, that, you know, they're human, you know, everyone's human. I say they, but, like, I'm, like, not, you know, y'all don't know me that like that, but whatever. Um... Anyways, people weren't raised the same way. They're they're just, they're raising a different time. I mean, look at like people like that are racist that are like 80 years old. I mean, look how they grew up. They don't know. They don't realize a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And and I think that I read one time when I during my like when I was nerding it out that <laughs> like a lot of the older people and older generations they actually don't even have that capacity to take in that extra new information like that. Okay. Um. Like, they, their brains are different. They just are. That sounds crazy, but, like, yeah. Um, like, a lot of people are realizing, like, their spiritual power and stuff like that, and their parents aren't getting it because they're closed-minded. They're not able to shed that many layers of ego yet because they're not, they didn't sign up for that before they came to Earth. And so it's it's a test for you. It's a test for you. Um, like, are you going to stand in your truth? How, you know, how sure are you of who you are? How sure of are you of your beliefs? It's a test. So it's gonna it's forcing you to dig deep inside of yourself and get really, really truthful with yourself to decide your actual truth and to share it. Okay? Because like you can't be afraid of rejection. It doesn't matter if it's your parents or who it is. You you can't be afraid of rejection because people are gonna reject you. They just are. But I will say this. And as a mother myself, I'm a, a mother, um, my, my oldest is 20 years old. Yes, I was a teen mom, but my oldest is 20 years old and you know, my youngest is almost 12 and I want to say they're both bisexual, but like, you know what? I want them to be happy. Okay. Like they come by it honestly, number one, <laughs> because I'm open-minded as well. And I taught them to be open-minded, but a lot of people weren't taught to be open-minded. Okay, they don't see it as, I want my kids to be happy or I want this person to be happy. They see it as like, this will make my kid happy and this is, so this is what I want my kid to do. Because their minds are closed. They can't see other options for you to be happy. They might say, oh, well, people will make fun of you or, you know, they might say, well, oh, people, you know, this is, you're going to be looked at wrong or whatever. They don't, they don't realize how the world is now. The world is a lot more acceptable. Bullying is not even as bad as it used to be at all. Like, look at that. Like, there's so much more acceptance and tolerance now. And they don't get that, but they will. If you stand in your truth and really get in touch with yourself and be strong in it, be your true self and state your truth to them. And eventually they will come around because in the meantime, or if you're afraid of hurting them by whatever it is you're going through, um, in the meantime, you're hurting yourself by keeping it in and not being authentic. Okay. Okay. Also, I wanted to say this, whoever it is that I'm talking to, and I feel like it's probably all of you, um, that are dealing with this right now. Um, I want to say that they think that, you know, they're worried about you being happy or they're worried about you not fitting into some sort of box, right? Um, but like, if you stand in your truth, they're gonna see, they'll see it eventually. They're gonna start seeing it soon after that. They, that is your happiness and that's your truth. They're gonna see how fulfilled you are by being yourself and being true to yourself and standing in your truth, okay? They will see it and that will bring them to more acceptance of it. Okay, so, because it's a test and a lesson for them too. It's not just your lesson and it's not just your test. They signed up to have that lesson too for them. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, um, your family doesn't believe and agree with witchcraft because of being Christian. Yeah, so here's the thing. So I can't stand labels. If you watch me for long enough, you'll know, you know that. I can't stand labels, okay? But things have names and it is what it is, okay? Like I've been persecuted by things before. I don't really talk about my stuff on here, but I actually... Like, they try to take my daughter away and everything because, but I don't do witchcraft or per se, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and I have Jesus Christ in my heart. So, <laughs> but I also use cards, but I follow God. So when I have conviction of the Holy Spirit, then, um, like if, if the Holy Spirit's like, no, like that kind of thing, then I don't do it. But that's, that's what I go by. Um, yes, I've read the Bible. Yes, I've read other things and studied other religions, but those things all kind of go together and you might be one of the ones that is helping to um, connect the dots and for others to teach them the um, thing the things that have been perceived as evil for a long time aren't necessarily evil it's the intention behind it that sounded good <laughs> um, what else is standing in the way what else is standing